Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and today we are going to take a look at the Condor 7 Pocket Chest Rig, and in my opinion, one of the most underrated and overlooked chest rigs. Most of the reviewers that look at these are airsoft guys, there's not a lot of gun tubers that have done reviews on these, and maybe there's a reason. We're going to talk about it. So with that, when I look at a chest rig, it needs to do a few things for me. It needs to one, carry ammo, two, carry medical, and three, carry water. If it does those three things, it's a go for me. And this does do that. Obviously, there's other concerns that come in, like quality and how it holds the load and things like that. And we're going to get to that. But seven pockets minus a six pocket. It had a radio pouch up here, and I took it off. It's a really cheap pouch with a Velcro style fold over, and it might fit a small radio, maybe a GPS, something like that. But it just it was in the way up here. It was annoying. I didn't like it. If you like it, leave it on there. If you don't, take a knife, cut the stitching, pull it off. So with that, let's start with the magazines. This has three magazine pouches on the front and they're held shut with a simple buckle. You pull this up and you have Velcro. So it does fully enclose and protect the magazine from dirt, debris, water, that type of stuff. It's capable of holding six AR mags if you have them in this orientation or nine if you were to turn them this way. So you can hold a considerable amount of AR-15 magazines in this rig. In addition to AR mags, this can accommodate two AK mags per pouch. As you see, this is adjustable, so this has room to grow and expand. I will say with the AK mags, it's kind of stretched as far as how much protection it's going to give the magazine, but let's be honest, most guys are running open-topped magazine pouches with the little bungees, so this is already offering more protection than those are, and really, you don't need it anyway. It's just a nice feature to have. So again, six AK mags. This will also work with six M1A magazines, G3 magazines. Uh, FAL magazines, if I remember correctly, are a little wider than the M1A mags. If memory serves, those might have a little bit of trouble, but I still think they fit. It just might take a little bit more convincing to get them in and out of the pouch. In addition, these do have grommets or draining holes in the bottom, so all the pouches do. So if it was to get wet, it could drain out the bottom, which is great. So pretty well thought out design. When I talk about design, this is not a Condor inspired rig. This was taken from a British pattern chest rig that saw extensive use and it's a pretty good pedigree to take this from. So they did a good job of copying that design. Again, back to the pouches though, very universal. You can host multiple platforms in this rig. I really like it for that reason. Moving on to our general purpose pouches, in the right one, I keep an Army IFAC insert with all the issued IFAC stuff, and it fits. However, it is very tight to get it in there. It takes a lot of convincing. Uh, to take it out, pretty easy to do, but it's about all you can do to fit it in there. You do have a little bit of room up top if you wanted to put some additional things in it, you could. Behind the general purpose pockets, you have these sleeves. It's just a simple pocket, and... They're not super practical if you're going to load the pocket to max capacity or even close to max capacity because it puts so much pressure between the pocket and you that it's hard to get anything in there. It's about all I could do to shove this tourniquet down in here. And ideally, I would run a tourniquet on a pouch probably back here somewhere or just sew one on the side, but I wanted to leave this as stock as possible for this review. So. Just showing you, if you don't want to make modifications, you can fit a full IFAC and the tourniquet in this general purpose section. In this side, I keep a Soviet style canteen. These are a little bit smaller than the US issued canteens, but it still allows me to have a decent amount of water on my rig, in addition to what I'm carrying with me. Should I have to ditch that extra gear, I still have water. This will accommodate USGI canteens, but you have to modify the lid and the cap will stick through the top of, you know, the hole that you cut in here and that you modify. So keep that in mind. Uh, I will link the guy's YouTube name down here that I got that from, but pretty simple modification and it allows you to carry two canteens if you wanted to. With this style canteen, the thing that I do like is there's still room in the pouch. I could put a GPS or something like that in here if I wanted to, and I could still utilize this pocket, which I'd probably put like a right in the rain notepad, field notes, maybe a pen, some markers, something like that back here. Not the most secure, but in my experience with this rig, 
it's not going to come out. It's got enough pressure in there that you should be fine. <clears throat> the last pouch we're going to talk about is the map pouch or general admin pouch. And all it is is just two buttons. There's no Velcro or anything like that. And then you have a pretty nice, generous pouch up top. So you can see here, it's got pretty decent amount of depth. It's easy to get into. And just as an example, I've got a ball of lava. I've got a headlamp. I've got a uh, Victorinox army issued knife, multi-tool would fit too, and then gloves. I still have plenty of room in here. If I wanted to, I could add a map, protractor, compass, markers, things like that, some extra batteries, maybe a, a Snickers or a candy bar or something, some type of uh, minor sustainment. And I probably be about max at that point as far as capacity goes, but it's got quite a bit of room. I mean, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the magazine, and it's just as wide as these three pouches are. <clears throat> One thing I was concerned about was the comfort, but even with this just shoving it in here and not really staging the gear, it's still pretty comfortable. So it gets a pass in my book as far as comfort goes. Well, we're talking about comfort, let's talk about the shoulder straps. So this is an X-Harness. So it's pretty simple. A lot of guys prefer the H harness, but with this specific rig, I actually kind of like the X harness. It holds it close to your body. The way I have this one positioned, I could still run a belt if I wanted to. If I'm running like an Alice pack or a bag that's got that uh, waist strap, I can make that happen with this rig. It's very adjustable. I could also drop this down or make it ride higher if I wanted to. There's plenty of adjustment in it. The straps themselves are very thin as far as padding goes and the funny thing is the padding in this is just that cheap packing type foam that's literally what's in these for padding so no there's really no padding but the straps are wide enough that it's comfortable and it distributes the weight pretty well with six loaded AK mags the canteen the IFAC it's probably the heaviest you're going to get because I'm using metal AK mags it's plenty comfortable so it's comfortable it's it's as far as going on a ruck, going on a run, walking through the woods, those type of things, it's more than adequate for what this rig is. As far as taking this chest rig on and off goes, it's really pretty simple and pretty easy, unlike some chest rigs. The X harness, simply come over the top, readjust it, take your strap on the side, swing it around to this buckle. It buckles, cinch it down done and then taking it off is even easier unclip your buckle and there you go so pretty simple some chest rigs are a little more difficult some are a little easier this one's really not bad and this is actually pretty comfortable to wear with armor too if you're running a slick plate carrier this is pretty easy to wear over the top so really like this it's a nice simple rig one of the major cons to this rig is the material this material is really cheap it's like a polyester type cheap nylon uh, it, definitely not waterproof but water resistant yes uh, if it does get saturated and wet again you've got the drain holes so that's not really an issue as far as going through the woods uh, briar patches things like that thorns it'll get a little bit tore up but not too bad and if you do get a rip in it it's pretty easy to stitch or you can do what i do i just take a lighter burn it off and then put a little glue over the top of it and, it, and it's fine it's a fairly durable rig it's not as durable as like high grade military nylon, but or Cordura or whatever it is, but it's it's durable enough for like the average concerned citizen or the militiaman type person. I think this is more than adequate for those roles. If you were a professional military guy in the middle of stuff quite often doing a lot of recon and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't look at this rig, but you also probably wouldn't be looking at a $30 chest rig if you're that guy. So yes, I think this is adequate for your average person uh, especially one that's maybe on a budget this is great you can run multiple platforms as far as rifles go out of this thing you can carry your water you can carry a little bit of sustainment medical gear it's comfortable to wear with a backpack or a big rucksack you can run a battle belt with it it's adjustable it's really pretty utilitarian the only other downside which I don't really look at it as a con but some might is the lack of modularity you get what you get here there's no molly, so you can't really add stuff unless you're going to sew. The thing is, though, you could add a dump pouch here. Uh, if you wanted to add, like, an old-school IFAC, there are some little Alice loops right here. <clears throat> so you could put something there. 
Again, for me, it'll be a dump pouch. Uh, you could put a tourniquet pouch on this side if you wanted to. And again, if you can sew, you can add stuff to this if you want to. But honestly, it's pretty adequate, I think, for the average person. It, it covers the basics. So for 30 bucks, they come in green, that coyote brown and black. You can't beat it for 30 bucks, guys. And if you have an extra couple of rifles laying around, hey, get, get six more mags, buy this rig, have a little loadout, throw it there with the rifle. If you need it, it's there. If you've got a buddy that doesn't have that stuff, hey, here you go in an emergency, you can use it, right? It's pretty inexpensive, and honestly, it's pretty decent. It's one of my favorite chest rigs that I've ran. So, guys, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe, click all the buttons. I appreciate that. And I will have more reviews of different chest rigs that I have coming out, so stay tuned. And as always, stay free.